Hi, I'm Jason Bryan from the Short Time Wrestling Podcast and founder of the Matt Talk Podcast Network. Shows on the network are individually owned and operated, and those opinions presented and expressed may not reflect others, the sponsors, patrons, or the parent network. Find more shows about the greatest sport in the world at the Matt Talk Podcast Network at matttalkonline.com. The mind of Pat Papalizio is a wondrous thing. And for you pack wrestling fans, you'll get to go inside the mind of the skip each and every episode here on the Pack Mentality Pop-Ins Podcast. Now, here's your host, NC State Director of Athletics Digital Communications, Ryan Reinhardt. All right, Wolfpack Wrestling fans, it has been a very long summer, but as everybody can tell by listening today, we are back. The Pack Mentality Pop-Ins Podcast. It might be his lunch hour, but we have corralled the head coach of the Wolfpack, Pat Pabalizio, in his office, returning for the first time in months to his own podcast. Pat, welcome back. Brian, great to see you, and I'm glad we were able to pull you out of retirement. I know it's been a long summer for you. Come back here nice and tan, healthy looking. I was going to say, this is fantastic. I mean, I did hit record, so I remember how to do this a little bit, but how was the summer of Pat? Summer's been great. We've been here training. <laughs> been a lot of things going on. I've I like checked how you in put, weekly. I, I, like I had how to call you, put you between nine there. and five. You know, I know I'm not to bother you after five, so I made sure I called right. you before that. There, there have been some Friday afternoons after five. You tried to bug me, and I ignored. But yep, I'm just making sure you're you're in good health and spirits, which you are. All right, your guys are back. Everybody's here on campus. School has started a little bit back to normal. Guys are actually going to class. You guys are working out in the room. How does it feel? Feels good. We're um, back in uniform. Guys had the white shirts on this morning. Um, nice set of shoes that uh, Brad hooked them up with. Uh, preseason kicked off this morning. So it was good. You know, get get guys back in a rhythm. And, you know, we missed that last year. As we did have a preseason, it just was different. Uh, it was a little shorter or oh, a little more crammed into uh, months worth of training, but now we can get back to our routine. I think I saw a tweet, maybe it was Camacho. He says he loves the cotton T-shirt and mesh shorts yeah. gear right now. It is. Uh, it's a good look. White T-shirt with just black writing. Shorts are basic and a uh, white pair of socks. You talk about preseason. What is preseason for you guys? Um, you know, there's a couple things going on there. Obviously, we're, we're in an organized lift. We're doing some conditioning drills. Uh, but I think more than anything, it's mo probably good to get back in rhythm, get a routine down, get guys, you know, used to a long day between school, tutoring, training, afternoon practice. Um, you just get in rhythm. And I think it, little by little, we can start chipping away at some technical things that we're working in on. And then some guys losing a little bit of that baby fat that they come in with. And, uh, you know, Sam. Craven's been down and out a little bit, recovering, and he'll be back in there working with our guys. But in the meantime, guys are lifting hard and uh, continuing to build on what they started this summer. Some baby fat, but you also have a couple guys trying to bulk up a weight class. Yeah, so I know. You're balancing here. Sarcastically. Guys are in actually really good shape right now. Um, and, yeah, some of them are. They look good and moving up. It's going to be interesting to see. You know, some of them are already going to move up a weight class, and I'm like, geez, you still have to get back down to – you know, lose lose some of that weight, so you'd be in a good spot. But uh, I know a couple, yeah, a couple of these guys have really enjoyed their summer. Yeah, uh, some of them are are pretty big. So, and it's fun watching some guys growing, some guys shrinking down, and now they're they're new workout partners and throwing the freshmen. There's a a good group working out with each other, pushing each other. So it's been fun to watch some exciting workouts and little by little, you know, as we gear up a little more live wrestling, it'll be, uh, it'll be fun to get this group all in the room together. I was going to say pretty big freshman class. You guys have come in. They were all here in summer too. Now, obviously back for the fall semester. How has it been this new team attitudes kind of mentalities of a bunch of new guys coming in and it's, mixing uh, with everybody? It's interesting. You know, you got guys that have been here now six years. We got those four guys that are back. So, you know, they've been through the ropes. They know the ups and downs. And then you throw in some some freshmen that, you know, they need leadership. They need guidance. And that's where we rely heavily on our guys that are, have the experience of what it takes to be successful in the classroom and on the mat to kind of show, 
show these guys the ropes, um, get in line, you know, get in that rhythm. I think a lot of these guys aren't used to the amount of work that goes into a preseason. You know, a lot of times in high school you can just show up, uh, come to practice, and you're good. You know, we're we're doing a lot of times you're up twice a day working out, whether it's something light or just an intense workout. So a lot of these guys are learning what it takes, um, you know, getting on that schedule, getting up 6 a.m. I think you go through the year that a lot of these guys had in high school, the senior year. Uh, it wasn't a normal year. A lot of them were online classes. They didn't have to worry about getting up 6 in the morning, getting on a bus, being ready. I think a lot of them were just waking up, getting on a computer and uh, dealing with some things. So we got to be patient with that, but at the same time, make sure you guys know what it is, what we're looking for uh, with the workload. And they're starting to respond. They're starting to see some some growth right now and a lot of these freshmen, and that's that's what we need right now. It was a tough senior year for those guys. A lot of them didn't compete as a senior, so there's been a lot of time since they've had some competitive matches. Where do we stand right now with redshirting rules? Are we back to pre-COVID with the redshirt rules? Yeah, um, I think that's kind of what – we're back to is a, a complete normal year, um, hoping so. At least get guys matches and get back to the, the days where guys can go and compete when they need to and uh, get our guys ready, with, whether it's tournaments or dual meets right now, but get the, the whole team together at certain events and uh, excited to see these guys, you know, once we get in shape, see these guys compete as a team. I know you keep it. Very well guarded, very secretive, but I had a sneak peek of the schedule, which yeah. you refused to push out. But yep. it's coming, fans. We will get you that schedule. Very exciting. Saw some opens on there. Does that mean we are not doing the extra matches anymore? We're just doing the opens? I think there's a possibility of, of continuing to do some extra matches with the you know, with the right teams and times. Um, I think it's got to be something that works with, with both teams' schedules. Um, so I think... We'll be creative with that and try to get our guys extra matches as time allows. Um, and, yeah, try to hit a couple open tournaments. There's uh, some early preseason ones. You know, I don't know, you know, what schools and programs are going to be able to host and have open tournaments or how big they're going to be. But as long as guys are getting some competitions in, uh, especially guys that are redshirting, you know, we're going to we're going to push to to get them out there to compete. Wolfpack Wrestling Club open. We have it down. I don't know yet. It's still 50-50. Um, but, yeah, there's a possibility we'll do it. We'll hopefully get update on the facilities and uh, see if we can make it happen this year. Love that day on a I Sunday. I know. That's my favorite day. You yeah, know? especially if we do the duels before that. Oh, man. You get you here for the that, whole that 48 is, hours. That is some wrestling on that week. Yeah, you got you know, to be ready for the grind. You earn your per diem on that week. You sure, certainly do. <laughs> and a T-shirt. <laughs> T-shirt, I still waiting for mine um one thing i did see i think fans are very excited about national duels this year brand new concept uh how did it come together obviously a bunch of top teams i don't have any of the d de- i didn't write any notes down so i don't have any details yeah you're good now you got so much yeah. experience i mean you, you, sque- you squeezed me in here for this 10 minute interview yeah. but uh, um, just talk about national duels i think everybody's really excited yeah. about this event well first of all i I don't know if it's going to be called national duels. I think it's going to be more of a collegiate duels type thing. Uh, I think basically you're going to get two teams from each conference. Um, I know the Big Ten right now will have possibly uh, two teams in there that are, you know, really established. So basically you're going to fall into two sides. Um, You know, one, one group will be a bracket. You'll wrestle out to the winner and same with the other group. There's no crossover. So you won't have to worry about seeing teams from your own conference. And I know a lot of times, you know, we're obviously we wrestle everyone in the ACC. So that's not something, you know, we're not going to have a dual meet there that we'll, we'll have during the regular season. So there won't be any of that, but I, I know there'll be some of the best teams in the country there. Um, so we're going to at least get three teams that are ranked, you know, probably two of them in the top 10 and, and all three would be in the top 25. Cause I imagine every team in there is going to be ranked pretty high. So, yeah, that's a that's going to be a date that we got to circle and be ready to go. That'll be uh, December. You have it written down. Yeah, I do. Twentieth uh, and twenty first, down in Destin, Florida. So that's going to be a great event. Uh, everybody will look forward to that. As you know, people love watching the duels. You can watch duels a lot easier than you can watch a tournament. And so many great teams down there. And you talked about your busy summer. 
obviously your six year guys, you had, you get your freshmen here on campus, you're recruiting, recruiting is going very well. We can't talk about that, obviously putting the schedule together, probably the biggest change that your staff, uh, you had some changes on your staff this year. Donnie Vinson left for Cornell. Uh, you decided to elevate Timmy McCall. He's been with our program for many years, a great guy to have in the room. He is now an assistant coach and Kevin Jack is now taking over the volunteer spot. And Kevin has been around for many years since he graduated and obviously was a three-time All-American. But just talk about the excitement of a new staff here and what went into some of those decisions. Yeah, you know, I think we're at a point now where you're going to see a lot of guys uh, – that put their time in here, get the opportunity to get elevated and new opportunities at other places. And it's a positive thing. I always want to see people grow and, and reach their goals and their personal and professional careers. So, you know, that that's part of the process. Um, I like keeping guys in the mix of things here. That's why we have a lot of people that are in the wings waiting. Um, also learning the system, what we're looking for, working hard, behind the scenes and knowing that their time's coming eventually to get that uh, promotion and elevation. Um, Timmy's a perfect example of that. He's been committed to our program for over seven years. You know, one of the things that is important to me is the feedback the guys on the team give us. We get our student surveys back every year and there was not one kid that didn't have something positive to say about Timmy. Um, so to me, that speaks volumes and the amount of respect the guys on the team have for him. And it was a no brainer for me. Uh, the guy's improved tremendously as a, as a coach, and he brings a lot to the table. Um, when you get a chance to sit down and talk to Timmy, you're, you'll understand why. And he's a very positive person and will have a big impact on these guys. And, you know, as far as Kevin goes, uh, he's been here now. He got his fifth year as a student assistant, got a lot of valuable experience doing that, was a recruiting coordinator for the last year. So he got to learn – the ins and outs a little bit recruiting you obviously the more experience you get the better you become uh he knows he's got a good opportunity to learn and get better uh his goal was to become you know a college coach and he's little by little going to climb those those ranks of doing that and this is a great opportunity to to come in here as a volunteer assistant prove himself and uh make a name for him he's a married man now too so let's yeah, slow we down went up a there, little bit for him yeah last week a good good ceremony up there in Danbury, uh, right outside Danbury. It's a good, beautiful wedding. And it seems to be the new trend here, college wrestling. A lot of places are hiring volunteer assistants. What can you speak? What is the volunteer assistant? Yeah. I mean, in reality, it is a, uh, it's a position that puts a lot of time in. Um, they can help side by side, everything that we're doing. The, the only thing they can't and are not allowed to do is go on the road and, and actually recruit off campus. But when we're doing visits here, they can help. They can get on the phone. They can text with kids. They can build relationships in a lot of different ways. And, um, you know, a lot of times the younger kid on staff is usually the volunteer, so they can wrestle a lot more. So I'm still working on Kevin getting in there a couple days a week. I haven't uh, seen Kevin in the room for a while. Yeah, you're going to see him today. Come on by about 3 o'clock. You'll see him in there. <laughs> Driving the vans? Yeah, there you go. He loves, He's driving, good at that. That. He loves driving that van. Yeah, he is. That and uh, his ruckus pizza. Okay. Big event this weekend. You guys are actually hitting the mats. Uh, world team trials. You're taking six guys out to Lincoln, Nebraska. Four current guys. Two guys of the RTC. Obviously, it was a little different this year with the Olympics. And now the senior world championships are also this year. So what exactly are the world team trials this year? Um, so if you rewind off the Olympics, anyone that medaled has an automatic bid to go and represent the United States at that weight. And I want to say five, four of the five, yeah, have, have taken that invitation. Uh, so that'll leave five other six weights right now. I think we got six weights that we can, uh, compete in and, and make a team. So, you know, guys really had to move up or down, um, to what worked in their, weight classes to go out and compete and, and make this team. So, yeah, we have the opportunity. I think, you know, we got three guys at one weight, so that'll be interesting to see those guys in the same weight. You know, you never want to go out and have to compete when they're practicing with each other, but that's the nature of the beast we're in with uh, limited weight classes right now. So we'll have that and um, 
just good experience for these guys, you know, especially the college guys right now. To me, this is one of the events we put on the calendar to help them get prepared for this season, look at it like uh, another tournament that we got to get ready for and get us kind of that preseason feel and uh, go right into the next November um, competition. So, Yeah, as you mentioned with the Olympics and some Olympians who did medal at the Olympics, they chose to claim a spot for the world championship. So a lot of your Wolfpack guys are going to be in a lot of different weight classes here. I'll we'll go down the list real quick. 61 kilos, you'll see Camacho. 79, you'll see both Tommy Gant and Hayden Hadley. And up at 92, it's the Wolfpack invite all over. You'll have Trent, Hadley, uh, Michael Machiavello, and Isaac Trumbull. How excited are these guys to get out and compete? It's probably been a little bit while since they've had some matches here. Yeah, and you know they've those guys put a really good summer in. Uh, I've seen a lot of improvement from all these guys, so it is nice for them to go out now and finally put it on the line. Um, get to go back out to you know close to Isaac's hometown, so I know he's excited for that, and that was part of the plan about a year ago when we were having the chance to wrestle. Um, we go back when he was wrestling the 20 under trying to make a team. And then the senior level was the same time. He wrestled in both of those, knowing that, you know, he had a chance to, to qualify for this. And I think this is going to help him tremendously uh, alongside those other guys who already have some experience at the senior level. Um, Isaac probably being the, the first to go out there and compete in these trials. So it'll be, uh, it'll be fun to watch these guys and knowing that four of them are going to be in our lineup this next year. Um, and Tommy and Mock, side by them uh training side by side are you going out to nebraska i will be out there we're leaving thursday you love lincoln nebraska yes. how many times have you been to lincoln nebraska probably 15 20 okay. you gotta remember they were in the big 12 when we were in oklahoma state so we were there a lot well Don't you forget. used we you're not part of that us you know you're well i say me and you like okay. we because we've been out there together a few times <laughs> uh tr trials were here in raleigh last year it was a great event it, do we know is there a plan for the future? How far out do they uh, have yeah, these events set up? There's some feelers out there. I think, uh, you know, there's certain places that are bidding on it right now. Um, I know a lot of people really enjoyed having it in, in Raleigh. Um, I think it's a perfect venue. Selfishly, I love, you know, being in, in a place like this to, to have the world team trial. So hopefully, you know, that's something that we can do again in due time. Um, you know, I know historically they don't do it the same place every year so jumping around to different places i think is healthy and good for for wrestling what about the ncaa championships here yeah i've bugged you about that for how many years i know we put a bid on it a while back at pnc but it, it didn't go through but i think between raleigh and charlotte it's it's got to happen we got to make it happen why don't you call your people over? because you know where it's going this year yeah that'd uh, be nice. okay first of all we're going to piss off our detroit listeners but we're going up to detroit in the middle of the winter here yeah that's that's good. We'll be in an arena all day, all night, training or uh, competing. So actually, yeah. not to, I don't think anybody from Detroit listens. People from Japan. Now they listen to the podcast. That we were, is true. We once back when you were doing the podcast. You mean you. I think we ranked in the top fourteen in all the podcast wrestling podcasts in all of Japan. That's good. That's pretty cool. Healthy. That's a good stat, Brian. I know. I see all your stats written down. I know. I, I did write a couple things down. All right. What else are we talking about here? I feel it. Uh, we we got a big golf outing coming. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, uh, you know. Hold on. Oh, you got some. I got to. Uh, I got to clear my throat because this is the most convoluted name to any event I've ever seen. But yes, Patrick, September twenty fourth, the fourth annual Wolfpack Wrestling Club Golfing with Wolves Golf Outing. Yeah, that's wow. impressive. That's a tongue twister there. So, uh, according to the graphic, it looks like it's at RGA. Yeah. Is that, where, where is it? I'm not a it's golfer. Right down Tryon. Okay. So close to campus. Okay. 18 have, hole course. We got a lot of guys, a lot of alumni. Yeah. That's okay. usually how golf works, Brian. Could be mini. I'm a mini golfer. Yeah, I know you are. I can see. Um, no, we got a good turnout right now. And a lot of guys obviously coming back with uh, Clemson being in town the next day. I know a lot of people are making a weekend out of that. We got some really good awards. Our alumni have been working really hard to put this together alongside with um, some other people that have put a lot of time and energy trying to help us grow some things here. So it should be a great event. Um, good time of the year. Last time, a couple years back, we did it early August or mid August and it was about 110 out. So we try to go a little later and sweating off those pounds. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Um, 
So, yeah, we're looking for a good turnout and then uh, make it an action-packed weekend going to the Clemson game where I know a lot of alumni will get together and do their tailgate that they do with some really good food. So, The Golf Alley is always a great event. Obviously, it's a big fundraiser but for the Wolfpack Wrestling Club, but it also just brings your alumni together. Your current guys get out there and intermix. Just not even taking away the money from it, but how important is some of these events to get your alumni, to get fans just interacting with your current guys? I think it's, uh, you know, it's been very important to our program. Uh, It's helped us with a lot of growth uh, as far as the fan base goes. You know, anytime you you're building a program, which we've worked really hard over the years to do, we got to have that support and uh, we're there. And now we just want to keep everything intact, getting people together for a weekend. If you don't golf, you can still stop by, say hi, get a box lunch, hang out. Um, we expect to see you out there too, Brian. So you had me at box lunch. Yeah, I know. I knew that would get you. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of randomly jumping around here. Wrestle offs this year. Are we hosting them? Are they going to be open to the public? Is there a yeah. plan yet? We'll uh, put something on the calendar. Usually about a week before we'll get, we'll get something going, but definitely want to get our guys used to competing. Um, you know, a lot of them, like you said, haven't had the year they historically have and get those matches in. So It'll be good to put that together, have uh, get a crowd in there. And, and it seems like every out. year these wrestlers have gotten better and better, obviously, because you're yeah. bringing new guys in yeah. and all that. But there's so much competition now that the wrestle offs are really a great event now. Yeah, I would imagine there's going to be a lot of weights up for grabs this year. Uh, you know, obviously there's some on paper, you know, someone's got more experience, but I, I would imagine there's going to be some. Some weights where you're going to see some guys step up um, and make a name for themselves. We're going to need that this year to, at several weights. Uh, some new faces definitely going to be in our lineup, but I know whoever represents NC State Wrestling at this point will be ready to compete. Lots of competition in those wrestle-offs. I can guarantee you a former wrestler will not put it on his Rockfin page this year because he got a lot of money last year for that. We're keeping that in-house this yes, year. Yes, we're going to definitely keep that in-house. <laughs> always, uh, Pat, I'm always trying to bring in some money here, yep. trying to help your program out. That's good. Uh, what what else you want to cover? I feel like you know it's been a while. We have let's. Uh, what else is going on with you? Well, just back to a normal schedule here, Brian. So everything's been. I know you, pretty you, pretty you in like, sync. I, I, I like think it. you like the normal schedule. Yeah, I do. Uh, I think routine. I think it's good. I think it's been healthy for a lot of our guys. Uh, we're excited for some of the you know doors opening up with some of the visits we got lined up to get things rolling. Um, that's been something that's been a little different and uh yeah i was gonna say you touched on that and this is a good point um we talk about recruiting kind of you know we can't name names yeah you can't get in depth i can't name a name but uh you know got a good class coming in but they also haven't been able to get on your campus for a while so how different is it are you excited to get back to the recruiting that you used to know yeah it's been uh strange you know up until recently, which we were able to go on the road and do some things that we needed to do. Um, but as far as kids coming here and being on official visits, you know, that's been something that we haven't been able to do. And uh, excited to get all these guys here and showcase things firsthand. And uh, it'll be a good time. Uh, some team building activities that we can do as well that we haven't been able to do in a while. So that part will be good. Um, we do have a team event schedule do a little paintball at some point so yeah i was gonna say is there gonna be some i'm gonna be in camo to this paintball? i'm gonna be hiding because i know it, guys are gonna be i was to gonna say me. obviously I, no one wants yeah, to be, I'm on be up team. in the tree hiding yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's great you guys get out just the guys being in a big group has really got to change the mentality yeah you know it's been uh it's been unique it's been different um I, you know at times i think it pulled us closer together guys you know that bonding and and relying on each other. Um, you know, when we were going through that real disciplined time when things weren't normal. Um, and now being able to have guys at practice together, have some team meetings when everyone's there and just doing some things together, I think has been real healthy. Um, you know, even guys just going to class right now, you can tell the energy and the smiles are back and smiles going to class. Yeah, I think okay. so. I think guys like getting out, you know, they're sick of just coming here and working out. So, it's good. You know, you being on a college campus, there's always good positive energy and just excitement. So it's been a it's been a good time, you know, turning on a TV on a Saturday and seeing college football kick off and you can hear the crowds, um, 
we need that right now. And hopefully that carries over to our season where we can get Reynolds packed in this, this year coming Absolutely. up. Absolutely. As soon as you let us know when we can release that schedule, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, well put it Well, I do have it, it saved on my calendar from a year ago. I think it was September 24th can, is when we released it okay. uh, a year ago. So I'm a date guy. As you're a stat guy, I keep this on, on date. So fans, I would think around that time. Fans, we know. We promise the schedule's coming out. You're going to be excited. Obviously, we know the ACC matchups, national duels, and we're going to have some other fun events. But, Pat, it was great to catch up. It's fun to talk about wrestling. It's great to know that there's a lot of wrestling action this weekend. I mean, the brackets for those world team trials are just insane right now. Yeah, a lot of depth. Uh, we squeeze some of those guys in the weight classes that they typically don't wrestle. So it's going to be a fun weekend of wrestling. Have fun going out to Nebraska. I'll have a steak for you. I was going to say, I'm not sure what Nebraska is known for. Omaha steaks. Omaha. Oh, yeah. Omaha, Nebraska. Okay. Yeah. I, I, you, you never took me for a steak. I think you let me get a hot yeah. dog one day. Yeah. But uh, great action coming up. Follow us on Twitter at Pack Wrestle. We'll have all the updates for the world team trials as six from NC State will be going out there. Pat. Thanks for catching up. We're going to have to do this a lot more regularly now. We're coming up here. It's about to get underway. Keep looking forward to any time, Brian. You know where my office is. I want to thank everybody for listening today. This is your Pack Mentality Poppins podcast covering all things NC State Wrestling. Until next time, Wolfpack Wrestling fans, go Pack! Mentality Poppins Podcast is produced by the Mad Talk Podcast Network. For more wrestling podcasts, go to madtalkonline.com.